Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another thrilling episode of Prog Review. And today, it's actually Steve Hackett's birthday. And so why don't we do the to Tokyo tapes? This is, this is complicated. <laughs> this is complicated. Tokyo Tapes is a live album slash DVD that was released a long time ago, 1998. Though the version I had said it was 1999. But anyway, back in uh, December 1996, I know you've got to remember, 1996 was it was a time where there was no, no such thing as progressive rock or prog rock. It was it was all over. But Hackett and friends were employed to do a, a gig in Tokyo. And it's a very interesting cast of characters. You can see on my DVD box is Steve Hackett, John Wayne, Ian MacDonald, Chester Thompson, and Julian Colbeck. You know? Hmm. So this is this is Tokyo Tapes, but I'll explain about that in a minute. And and so what they did is they played a number of of songs from various progressive rock bands, Genesis, King Crimson, if I'm allowed to mention that name, um, Hackett's own solo career, Asia, and um, Wetton's solo career as well. So there was a, a mixture of material, a mixture of material here. And originally it came out as a CD in the UK. Like I say, I say it was 98. My records say 99. Uh, I don't have that CD anymore. But, um, yeah, it was a very interesting period because it's like, oh, this was this was interesting. I found it genuinely in, enthralling. And again, it's around the same period as when Hackett was doing um, Genesis Revisited as well. There was like a almost a, like a bubbling up, a resurgence of interest in progressive rock and hack. It was, you know, again doing the doing the Genesis thing. So it was all around that period. Um, but all we had then was the C D edition, right? Yeah, C D edition. Um, however, later on, and again, depending on on again, there's lots of different versions of this. But later on it was released on DVD in, I guess, in Europe and the rest of the world. Some say it's 2001. I think there's also a copy from 2006, which integrates the CD and the DVD. There are many different pressings of it. It gets complicated. You may find another version of it. I don't know. But I'm going to talk about my version. This version here. There you go. Right. So this was bought for me in 2000. And it's got actually got on it. Now the interesting date on this, I don't know if you can see that, is uh, 1997. Yeah. So this came out in 97. And interesting thing is actually spell Hackett's name on in the body text there. Um, but if we look at the if we look at the the, the, the the receipt, yeah, it's in Hong Kong dollars. Uh, Mrs. bought me this back in 2000 when she was in Hong Kong, along with some uh, Yes DVDs as well. Um, so that's how I got the, the DVD edition. Again, the, the subsequent version I think is better. I think you get, I think there's some maybe rehearsal footage as well. But this is my version and I watched this last night again. Uh, because it, again, to mark the passing of Ian McDonald and you know, John Wetton as well, you know, it's kind of a bittersweet, a bittersweet um, experience. But again, it's of its time. It's of the time when we didn't have much. And you can see there um, all the tracks that they cover um, on the DVD, on the CD edition. Again, depending on which version you get, there's also two studio tracks: Firewall and The Dealer. However, this was expanded in this one. I mean, about there being so many versions of it, this was expanded with a, um, a studio version of Los Endos as well. Oh, I think you need a, you need to lie down after all that. But anyway, it's really good. It's really good. 
but I can imagine some people won't like it because this was produced in a time when it didn't matter. It really didn't matter. You know, then they weren't so precious about the material. For example, you have John Wetton singing Genesis songs. Like Watch the Skies, the Skies is the opening track. And Wetton does a really good job of it. He does a good job of all the Genesis stuff. He does a good job of the the Crimson stuff as well. You know, it shows you how versatile a vocalist he was. And also you think, God, wouldn't it have been good if Wetton had joined Genesis after Peter Gabriel left, you know? You know, you start thinking in those terms, you know, <laughs> because he acquitted himself really, and also some really good bass playing as well. You know, there's, there's that, that aspect to it. But they're not so precious about replicating um, the exact studio experience like you get now. Now, a lot of these bands, you know, these legacy bands, seem obsessed about recreating the tracks exactly how you'd expect them to hear them. Here yeah, they're a bit fair. They're a bit. They're a bit um, less say fair. They go off piece. They they improvise a bit. Some of the some of the um, the patches they use on the keyboards are not quite right. Um, you know they have a bit more bit more fun with it. It's fun. You know it's not as you know stuck in the box as you get. And again, and that's what's delightful about this um, compilation. This live performance or whatever it's from a different time when these these musicians you got the feeling you know they felt like no one was watching no one was looking and of course um, you have Julian Colbeck on here he played keyboards with the ABWH when when oh yes and I saw I saw that with him so that was an interesting interesting thing so yeah it's it may have been something that's passed you by I think it can be quite hard to uh, get hold of these days. However, if you if you scour YouTube, I'm sure someone has uploaded the entire thing for you to go and watch. Um, again, the the CD edition is it's not as good because you don't get all the pictures. It's got the moving pictures, isn't you, with this? Um, <laughs> but I mean, I like I said, I was brought to it via the CD, and then the missus got me this as a nice surprise. And, um, and then it was subsequently released over here properly, I suppose. But I didn't bother buying it again because I've still got this. Um, so, yeah, it was good putting it on and, and reminiscing. But, again, it makes you realise, um, you know, none of us are getting any younger. And you see, you know, Wetton's not, no longer here. Now Ian McDonald's not here. Um, but it was a really, even though they did, um, I don't know how many, was it a couple of gigs? I'm not sure. Might have been one. I think it's couple it was a couple of a couple of concerts in Tokyo um they're really tight really tight and again really fun really fun time and again this was done at a time when there was um no progressive rock no prog music you know happening no not like we have now not now, now there's there's a whole bloody industry that's sprung up around it you know a faux prog. Um, this, like I say, comes from a different time. So do check it out. I can imagine that for some of you, it, you won't enjoy it because it's not note for note and it's not like the album. I like that. I like that they are a bit more free and easy with it and it feels fun, you know, and you get a sense that they're just happy to be you know, given the chance to play. Um, and there's some great performances on there as well for, you know, for Wetton's a star. Of course, so is Ian McDonald, his you know, flute stuff when they do um, I Talk to the Wind and In, in the Court is, you know, is brilliant. And, and then again, you've got Hackett in the, in the centre of this doing doing all his Hackett stuff, uh, even the old nylon, you know, Horizons and Blacklight. You know, you get, you get a bit of everything. Um, so, and of course, Chester Thompson's in the, in the back line just holding it down. He's just such a trooper, such a great drummer. Um, yeah, so... That's the Tokyo Tapes, or Steve Hackett and Friends Live in Japan, as I know it. <laughs> Again, this stuff is a bit hard to find these days. Um, but like I say, if you, can't, if you can't get it, it's on YouTube. Go check it out and uh, tell me what you think in the comment box below. Now, I'm going to have to ask you to like this video. I don't want to. I don't want to because I feel like I'm treating you like a naughty children. But please like this video. Please share this video. Please 
and tell everyone that that bald-headed bastard still talking about progressive rock on YouTube. He won't give up, not until, well, until they screw him into the ground. Tell everybody this. It's important. Don't forget, you can also Patreon me, patreon.com slash lock. You can give me money. You can just, you can just send me money. Send money now. That's how, I don't want to do this, but the algorithm makes me do this, you know. I have to keep the. I have to appease the YouTube gods, otherwise, no one will see this video. And that's probably the best for the best. It's probably for the best, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Tokyo Tapes slash Steve Ackett and Friends live in Japan, and um, yeah, thoroughly recommended. Uh, thanks for watching. There's only one thing left to say, and by now you should know what that is, and that is, prog on, of course. <laughs>